body is um, not a wonderland. It's more, it's more like a Kathy Bates character. That's me, H. Allen Scott. So here's the deal. I was raised Mormon, poor, in the Midwest, turned out kinda gay, got a little cancer, then converted to Judaism. Try fitting all that onto a Tinder profile. We were a fairly liberal Mormon family. My mother always joked that we were too poor to be conservative. I knew being Mormon was a bad idea. And it wasn't just the gay thing. That was a big part of it. So I was living in my 20s. I moved to New York City, and then I started in comedy, and that brought me to Los Angeles. Hey, it's H. Allen Scott here with Fusion. I'm a huge Golden Girls fan. My stomach does this sort of like booty stomach thing. One day in these spanks and oh. Then I got cancer. There's absolutely no good way to tell a crowd that you have cancer. Nobody on a date wants to hear, does this taste weird or is it like chemo? Like, <laughs> nobody. I couldn't perform regularly. I couldn't write regularly. I couldn't live a life normally. I, I felt like I was losing so much of myself and my identity and who I am. I needed something to ground me. My mom always said I was the most Jewy sounding Mormon kid and all of the comics that I admire were Jewish and all the writers that I loved were Jewish. I was almost curating this sort of like Jewish identity and I started reading and realizing that I'm Jewish mm -hmm. and I didn't even know it. So I didn't know who to turn to to start conversion. My psychiatrist was like, oh, I know this rabbi, his name's Zach Shapiro. In many respects, I'm kind of an anomaly. As a Jew by choice, there's this level of like, being a fraud. If someone wants to be Jewish, let's bring them in. Because I've been having these sort of conflicted feelings since I was a child. And it's just been boiling deep down under somewhere. I remember sitting in the corner of the Mikvah waters. Everything kind of came to that moment. <laughs> Cancer and my life and my childhood, my family and everything in that moment sort of came to. I felt surrounded by love. I have to go on this sort of journey to figure out how to be the best Jew possible. I gotta have a bar mitzvah. I need that spiritual entrance into manhood. It's been 34 years, so it's about time I become a man. <laughs> and, and Don't change. No, oh, well, I won't that much. It's still gonna be the same size. I gotta meet with my peers who are also gonna have bar mitzvahs. Hi. Do you feel prepared for your bar mitzvah? Am I gonna have to do this? I gotta learn a few things. Hello. Bar mitzvah, what does that mean? Alexa, what's a bar mitzvah? An initiation ceremony marking the 13th birthday of a Jewish boy and signifying the beginning of religious responsibility. That's a bar mitzvah. Take done. The beautiful thing about Hebrew is everything's pronounced. Shah. Yes. Tata. Yes. Shabbat Shabbat. Shabbat. This is gonna be the most dramatic bar mitzvah ever. <laughs> I need the perfect event planner. You've done bar mitzvahs. Yes. Mostly for children, I'm assuming. Yes. How do you feel about a public bris? If you were to see my vision board, you would probably see Diane Keaton. We could incorporate Wendy Williams, a Justin Bieber lynching theme. I would like naked people at you, my okay. bar mitzvah. We can do that. Um, how can we encourage people to give money? I do have that cancer angle. Hey! Shabbat Shalom! Should we do Shabbat? We should do Shabbat. That's one of the things that I love about being Jewish. Millions of people around the world are doing the same thing at the same time on the same day. Like, that's a beautiful thing. It's just being a link in a chain. A really strong, durable, amazing chain. Jewish is who I am. I'm part of a people. I am a Jew. Like, yeah. look at me. And talking about being part of the Jewish community is more important than ever in these scary times. Before I can have the bar mitzvah, I need to like be the best Jew possible. I need to understand even what that means. Hello, how are you? Meeting other Mormons, converting to Judaism, just like me. How did you come to Judaism? Those beliefs that I had, I, I couldn't hold them anymore. I'm gonna do what every Jew needs to do at some point and go to Israel. It's like daily wear. That's something Diane Keaton would probably. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. <laughs> of course, to figure out where I belong, I have to go back to where it all began. I just didn't want to see you hurt again. You could come back here and I could take care of you, but I knew you didn't want to. 
The entirety of Judaism is learning what it's like to be a stranger in a strange land. We look to Moses as this quintessential person, but he had to choose it also. I like being compared to Moses. <laughs> I'm going like your 13 year old a little bit. I am. Okay. Emotionally, Great. mentally, spiritually. I'm excited. Maybe a little bit scared. This is the stuff that you should have already covered. But isn't it about time I become a man? Shema Yisrael Adonai The letter made you H. Alan Scott. What advice would you want to give the world? Whether it's something funny or something serious, this is that moment to do it.